I don't know why you haven't grown your hair. What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Oh, I don't know why you're not growing your hair. If you haven't, come, let's go. <laughs> hey guys, oh my god. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my shrine of glory. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time coming across this beautiful face, this beautiful hair, hey, hey to you, welcome. My name is Naturally Tima and I make videos on hair growth lifestyle, but specifically natural hair and entrepreneurship. Okay, so in today's video, as you see on the title, this is just like five advice to my Sierra Leonean sisters and this was an impromptu video i was not planning to do it but then it just came to my mind and i just picked up the camera so you're going to be hearing bikes um at the background so please forgive me and i'll try as much as possible to shout so you can get the information and i'm going to try as much as possible to keep this video to six minutes or seven minutes but i don't want it to be long and i hope you get the tips and i hope you take this advice into consideration if you want to grow your natural hair please and feel free to share to others uh, without further ado let's get into the video so one of the reasons why i decided to do this video the main purpose of me um, grow, um creating this channel is to um in evolve evolve with you because when I started my hair growth journey and I saw my African sisters, my Sierra Leonean sisters, to be specific, I finding it difficult to grow the natural hair. I was like, I would be their savior. This natural hair channel. But then it was not giving a lot of um, audience. It wasn't um, attracting the people that I expected. But now we stand and I'm never going to give up because I know my purpose. Okay, so this is just an advice to my Sierra Leonean sisters that think natural hair is a joke. It is not a joke. Okay, so firstly, my advice to you is that a particular product or using a particular product for just a single time is going to grow your hair. It's never going to do that. Never. It's never going to do that. And when I tell people, and of course I own my own brand, I make hair butters, um, hair oils as well. I always tell my customers, if you use it for this first time, you're not going to see results. Mm -mm. Because it's just like our skin. You're using palmas, right? And then you change to cocoa butter. That transition is going to be very, 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 very much difficult. So the skin will have to adjust to it. So your hair is going to adjust that first bowl of shea butter that you're going to use on your scalp is just going to be an adjustment that first oil is going to be an adjustment that first your hair isn't going to grow from a bowl of conditioner from using it for the very first time it's never gonna happen young lady it will never happen okay so get that out of your head so people, ah, when i buy a shea butter i didn't see results it's not going to happen at the first time one thing I have learned from growing my natural hair for this past a year going to two years is that natural hair takes patience, endurance, um, faithfulness with whatever you're doing. So you're not going to use my product today and tomorrow I'm going to use, I go next, I'm going to use it. You're not going to see results because you're doing so much on your hair and you're not allowing your hair to actually um, absorb that particular product. So give your hair chance to absorb the nutrients from that product please thank you thank you it's get a routine i talk to a lot of people and i say okay what do you do to your hair what is the kind of shampoo you use what uh how long does it take for you to wash your hair and some people ah the curtsy they tell me they use bar soap to wash their hair this oh my god don't you know your hair is your crown don't you know that the queen of england do you know where they keep her crown it's in a glass 
preserved, secured, and then you have your own crown on your head and you don't have respect for that crown, have respect for your hair. Get a routine. For my own routine, wash my hair every two weeks, trim every three to six months, deep condition, have a leave-in condition, moisturize um, um, three times a week, braid my hair, do twist. I have a routine. So in order for your hair to grow, my Sierra Leonean sisters, get a routine. Scene. okay if you cannot wash your hair for yourself many natural hair saloons are coming up go there for the week for the month go there i love them pay your money let them treat your hair please thank you get a routine okay if you don't know how to build a routine for yourself go to a saloon say okay i want to grow my natural hair what i want to what i want should i do okay they'll tell you come to the saloon after every three weeks come to the saloon after this okay trim your hair your hair needs trimming your hair needs deep condition Get a routine. But if you're just going to sit there, you say you're going to use bath soap, your hair will never grow. It's fact. It is fact. I will not like to hear your sister. Experiment. I cannot emphasize enough of this. You need to experiment on your hair. Okay, my hair is like my experiment. When I started, I started with clothes. Um, that's called Siminji, Bisab, that's called hibiscus fenugreek i experimented with a lot of things and when you're experimenting make sure you use that particular product by itself see if it grows your hair and then you proceed to another experiment but do not be experimenting with this and experiment it will just bring a lot of pressure on your head so experiment okay experiment on your hair try a lot of things and when you see this is what is growing for you use it but if you don't experiment you will never know what your hair is and what it wants and what it wants you to give it so experiment you get the next is if you don't sacrifice you will never succeed sacrifice on your natural hair if you can sacrifice them to, to buy clothes to spray your body to get that scrub that body scrub skin scrub buy a product Sacrifice for your hair because if you do not sacrifice your hair will never never grow never sacrifice have time for your hair like i said go to a saloon if you know you can't wash your hair like me i take two hours at times to wash my precious hair but if you don't have that time go to a saloon a natural hair saloon and then they would and final advice to my Sierra Leonean sisters that think growing natural hair is magic. No, it's not. Be patient with your hair. Your, your hair will definitely grow. I used to have that mentality that when I started my natural hair journey and I used this particular product, my hair is going to grow. And then he did it. But then with patience and endurance, Look at the glory that it is growing. <laughs> my hair is like nine inches from here. My hair was here and now it's here. It's patience. So be patient with your hair, my Sierra Leonean sisters. I hope this video has been helpful. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and share it. And I love you guys so much. So come with me as we grow here together <laughs> have a nice and a beautiful day